What is up everyone? I just finished the tough boxing workout today. So all you're gonna need is a jump rope, throw some gloves on, if you have a heavy bag, get that heavy bag ready, and be ready to work hard. Let's do it! The first thing we're going to do, before I start, I'm gonna go over the movement. The first one we're gonna do is the jab, cross, we're gonna slip, and then cross. So I need to work on the slip myself, but some components to be aware of. When we're doing that slip, the side I'm slipping toward, I want the weight on that leg so I can fire back with the counter, okay? So jab, cross, slip, cross, all right? So we're going to start. I'm gonna get the timer going here. I'm gonna set it up, get my gloves on. We're gonna get right after it. All right, so I have my gloves on. Quick little recap. So first one we're doing, we're gonna do the jab, cross, slip, cross. And again, I'm not focused on the power on those punches. I wanna stay loose. I need to work on this myself. Just snap, snap, slip, snap. All right, so we're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. And we're off. So, I'm just stepping around, just kind of moving, waiting for my timing. Also, I'm keeping my hands up in between, just so I have my guard down. And again, just kind of finding the timing with this bag. This bag moves around a lot just because of the way that we have it hung. Here we go. Coming over here, finding my distance, getting comfortable, finding my range. Here we go. And as I as I go, I'm getting a little more comfortable with my timing and finding my distance. And good. Go ahead and take those gloves off. Next one we're going to do is the side flexion. For, so for the side flexion, we're going to get in the side plank. Once I'm in the side plank, I'm gonna flex my body toward the ground, flex back up, and then we're gonna actually add a little crunch. So flex down, up, crunch. And again, don't put the brunt of the weight into your shoulder. You wanna be working the side of your core and just working your core in general on this movement. Here we go. And flex down, up, crunch. So we're doing 30 seconds each side. Here we go. Up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch. Keep going. Also, you can stagger your feet if you want. I have my feet stacked. Both ways are effective. Just whatever feels more effective for you in particular. And switching sides, halfway home. Right into the other side. If you see me fiddling around here, it's because I have the receiver in my pocket and it's kind of moving around and I'm hoping that I'm not losing the sound quality. Cause that would be bad if you didn't hear the lovely voice. Here we go. Flex up, crunch. Flex down, up, crunch. Down, up, crunch. Keep going, five more seconds. Down, up, crunch. All right, go ahead and grab your jump rope. So for the jump rope, what we're going to do is just a lateral hop, okay? So both feet, stop this heavy bag from moving so much. All right, so both feet together, and we're just doing a little lateral hop, okay? So we're gonna go for a minute. We're up in 10 seconds, and we're up in five, four, three, two, one, and we're off. Go. Again, if I just keep my arms at my side versus using my whole arm to swing like that, I'm gonna be more efficient with the movements. I'm not gonna burn out as quickly. Also, we're working the frontal plane with these little lateral hops. And that way we just have to stabilize a little more with the inside and outside of our thighs. Halfway through. This is tough. Had a breakfast burrito earlier from Whole Foods. Feeling it. Ooh, calves are burning too. Oh, 15 seconds left. Ooh, I don't know what I hit there. I hit something. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my gloves back on. So next one we're going to do is the jab, jab, cross, and we're gonna step back. So we're gonna get out of there. So we're stepping in, we're attacking, and then we're getting out of harm's way. So quick little demo here. So I'm gonna jab, jab, cross, step back. And I'm just gonna move around, jab, jab, cross, step back, okay? And we're up now. So stepping back. I'm just moving around, finding my distance, my timing. And again, the jab, you can do a, a soft heavy, then a heavy. One way to mix it up. Also, I could just do soft, soft, hard. Okay, same thing. Or I could just do soft, soft, soft. But main thing here, just maintaining your footwork, staying loose. Again, I need to be conscious of that, staying loose. Trying to snap the punches, keep my chin in. Okay, finding my distance. There we go. I'm starting to feel a little better, getting a little more warmed up. And again, I'm pushing off my front leg to step back, so that way I'm maintaining my frame. Okay, getting my timing. And all right, let's go ahead and take those gloves off. Next one, we're going to do a rocking core exercise. So this is actually a little progression off the last workout as well. So I'm gonna start on my butt. Last time we just rocked up and down. Now we're gonna rock down, rock up. Once I'm up, leg up, leg up. Rock down, rock up, leg up, leg up. And we're up in three seconds. Get ready, we're off. Again, on the way up especially, I'm stabilizing. I'm gonna lift my leg up as high as I can. On the way down, stabilizing. Stabilizing on the way up. Oh, that was a bad example, I just lost my balance. All right, here we go. Leg up, leg up. So again, you want to get that activation primarily from your core. I'm also using my hips a little bit. And I'm using my lower back to stabilize a little bit as well. Here we go. Rock it down, back up, leg up, leg up. Rocking down, back up, leg up, leg up. Keep going, 25 seconds left or so. Here we go. Keep going. Almost there. Whew. All right, go ahead and grab the jump rope. So next we're going to be doing the high knees. So for the high knees, okay, as I'm jumping rope, just bring one leg up at a time, all right? Stay on your toes, be light with the movement, be quick. I work on that footwork, right? So it can be quick, moving in and out, right? We're up in five seconds. And we're off. Keep going. Almost there. 25 seconds left. Gonna set that down. All right, next, folks. So what we're going to do is throw the gloves back on, and we're going to do two jabs, and we're gonna change the levels, and a right body shot. So for the movement, a little demo, I'm gonna jab, jab, change levels, poof, body shot. And again, that change lo changing levels, I'm just kind of almost slight lunge, pop, back up into my stance. 
All right, so here we go. So, jab, jab, bah. then I'm back up. Resetting, resetting. Back up. That was a bad double jab. Here we go. Again, it's gonna be tough if you have a heavy bag that's moving around a lot, but again, it's all right. This is forcing me to work on my timing a little more, working on my footwork. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of find my pace here. Okay, moving around, I'll slip. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit there. I need to stay a little more loose. I can tell I'm a little too tense. Ooh, had a reach there. One more. All right, go ahead and take those off. So next, I'm gonna do a lower back strengthening exercise. So we're going to do the, we're gonna get on our hands and knees, okay? And we're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg, touching the elbow. So on this movement, I also wanna keep my hips neutral, meaning I don't want my hips leaning toward one side when I have the leg up, okay? So just wanna maintain a straight line. Here we go. And we're off. Keep the head neutral, extend. Draw and touch. Stabilize. Draw and touch. Stabilizing. Draw and touch. Stabilize. Draw and touch. We're gonna switch halfway through. Also, if you wanna progress it, this is too easy. The foot that's down, I can take that foot off the ground as well. And that's gonna force me to stabilize a little more. Let's switch sides. For today, I'm just gonna stick with the foot down on the ground. Just keeping it basic. I wanna master the basic fundamentals before I progress, right? Extend, stabilize. Back together, extend, stabilizing. Also, as you're doing this, keep your belly button drawn in. Core nice and tight. Stabilize. Back in. Stabilize. Back in. Stabilize. All right. Next, grab the rope. All right, so for this movement, what we're going to do, we're going to kick back and front. Kick back and front. So I'll show you the jump rope really fast. Quick little demo. So this one's a little more advanced. If it's too hard to do, just do the regular jumps. So I'm here, so I'm doing behind, in front, behind, in front, okay? So that's the movement. We're up in T minus five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we're off. So I'm going behind, behind, front. So this is kind of like the karaoke. If you're familiar with soccer, I'm sure they do that in other sports. Just getting the hip movement, like kind of external rotation going on. Here we go. Keep going. About 15 seconds left. Almost there. Five seconds. Woo. All right, I'm gonna take a quick sip. Got some water set up here for me. Got a little insulated coffee mug there. Keeps it nice and cold. All right, back up at the top. I'm going through two more times. First one, jab, cross, slip, cross. Again, I'm gonna try and stay loose. Don't want to be too tense. I just want to flow. Got to get in the flow, get the rhythm. Here we go. Here we go, feeling a little more loosened up now. And again, I'm not putting an enormous amount of tension on those hits. And part of the reason is because I don't want this heavy bag going all over the place. Maybe I'm going to change up my timing. Wait for a sec, then follow with the cross. So it's all about just kind of changing it up, maintaining your form. 
getting solid strikes, keeping your hands up, all those good things that we all love. See, see, keep going. Move around. I gotta wait for that one. I had to reach a little bit. Okay, I'm coming over here. A little quicker. A little quicker. All right. Go ahead and take those off. So next, we're back with the lateral flexion. What is it? Yeah, side flexion and then the crunch. So again, we're on our forearm. Flex down, up, crunch. Whew, starting to sweat. Building up a sweat. Getting tough. Here we go. We're up in five seconds. And we're off. Down, up, crunch. Flex down, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 15 seconds left, eight. Again, I don't know why I'm counting them. I think it's just force of habit, but we're going for 30 seconds each side. So it doesn't really matter how many you get as long as the form is good. And I'm gonna switch sides halfway through. All right, here we go. Flexing down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch. Flex down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch, down, up, crunch. Almost there. Up, crunch, down, up, crunch, and all right. Next, we're doing the little lateral hops. Lateral hops with the jump rope. Up in 20 seconds. Oh, that was, 30 seconds feels good. I needed it. Beginning, I needed 30 seconds so I could explain what we're going to do, but now I need it just to recover. All right, we're up in 10 seconds. Here we go. And another four, three, two, one. And we're off. Again, arms are at my side. I'm trying to just flick the wrist. So I'm not using my whole arm to do that movement. I know, personally, I used to tire myself out by moving my whole arm when I jumped rope. And that is just not efficient. It's just like in a flight, right? I wanna do everything efficiently. Get the most out of every movement. So you're not wasting your energy. You're gonna outwork your opponent. 20 seconds left. Keep going. Almost there. Five seconds. All right, boom, setting that down. Putting the gloves back on. So now we have the jab, jab, cross, and then stepping out of harm's way. Again, that step out, but push off my front leg, huh? Push off the front leg. This is taking me 30 seconds just to put the gloves on, goodness. Here we go. I stay loose, feel myself tensing up. Stay loose, stay loose, like I'm on the dance floor. Here we go. So, stepping out. Let's work on that double jab here. Bang, bang, bang. Step out. Just kind of finding my timing. Bang, bang, bang. Stepping out. Waiting. Bang, bang, bang. Stepping out. Stepping out. Maybe I'm gonna change up the movement. Kind of soft, soft, hard. Step out, right? Maybe I'm gonna do a soft hard hard. Okay. Again, just waiting, finding whatever it's giving me, right? The bag's moving around. I'm gonna work with what it's giving me. Just waiting. Bang, bang, bang. 
All right, take those off. Next, we're into the rocking core exercise. So we're gonna rock down, rock up, stabilize, leg up, leg up. So much fun. We're up in about 15 seconds. If you're sticking with me, good job. We are halfway through, look at that. Halfway through already. Can you believe it? And here we go. It's rocking down, stabilizing, back up. Leg up, leg up. Stabilize, down, up. Leg up, leg up. Leg up, leg up. Stabilize, down, up. Leg up, leg up. Stabilizing, leg up, leg up. Keep going. Again, as I get warmed up, as I'm going through all this, I'm feeling much looser, feeling more confident with my strikes, with my timing, gauging my distance. Don't be too hard on yourself if you're not 100% right away. 10 more seconds. Goodness, all right. Let's go ahead and grab the jump rope again. And we have the single leg, just drawing the knees up, light on our feet, light and nimble. Like a butterfly, a rabbit, quick. All right, we're up in five seconds. And we're off. Five seconds. And 
schon sah, jetzt sagt er, nee, Uff, I need to it. Next down, down. Crunch. Next down, down. Crunch. Down, down. Crunch. Ten more seconds. Good job. 
up, grab a jump rope, single leg knee ups. I'm going to grab a sit. I'm sweating.
Yeah, the results. We're gonna beat. Don't worry about what you're at now. some different movements. A little more dynamic than last time. We focused on some technical stuff for it. We threw the jab cross, we worked the slip, followed that with the cross, worked on our distance stepping out. We also worked on changing levels. So thanks again for watching. Remember to leave a comment, share, like, and always remember, you don't have to beat anything to train like that thing. Let's do it! Yeah. 